Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, this is Reacts, and today we're going to be reacting to some pretty exciting news for Deadpool 3. Ryan Reynolds just posted a video announcing that Hugh Jackman will be back as Wolverine. <laughs> First of all, props to Ryan Reynolds. I found that video so entertaining and so funny. I got chills. I was jumping around. I was so excited when Hugh came out nonchalantly. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. Abso absolutely brilliant. The fact that Ryan Reynolds convinced him to return for Deadpool 3. I did not expect for this to happen because Hugh Jackman has been quoted so many times saying that after Logan, he would be done. That was the end of his portrayal as Wolverine. But that is clearly not the case at all. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make this video, but I just need somewhere to vent all my thoughts because I do have some. First of all, let's just start with his first appearance in X-Men. I thought the X-Men movies were iconic, they were great. My favorite is Days of Future Past, of course. Don't get me wrong, I felt like the, the two standalone movies that he had, they, they were okay, but... Logan was just five tiers above those two movies. It is one of the best superhero movies of all time and one of my favorite movies of all time. It just, it does everything right. It is a near perfect film and you can't say that about all the movies in the world. The addition of Laura, the time jump, Professor X, I thought he was brilliant. Spoilers, if you haven't seen Logan, by the way, you should watch it. Exit this video and watch Logan right now. The death of Wolverine. Oh man, that, that hit me so hard. That got me really emotional. I just remember just bawling my eyes out. But it was so perfect. It was so bittersweet because we got to say goodbye to this character. He got to have his epic conclusion and it couldn't have been done in a better way. But now he is back and he is going to be in the MCU because Deadpool 3 is in the MCU. But my question is, is this just a one-time thing? I know that he said in the video that it was only going to be for one last time, but he said it was his last time during Logan. It's not that I'm scared. I don't know how to, I don't know what the specific word to use. One of my thoughts is that will it reverse everything that Logan set up so perfectly? Not, I'm not scared, but maybe will it ruin just the goodbye that we got to have? Don't get me wrong, I am so thrilled that he's back. Wolverine is one of my favorite characters of all time. I think Hugh Jackman did a perfect job and I trust Kevin Feige, Sean Levy, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. But also another question, will the X-Men appear in the MCU? Because that's clearly what it's setting up. There's been so many characters from past adaptations that aren't related to the MCU that have been coming back. First of all, we have Toby and Andrew, which was perfect. And maybe will they return? Will they not? We don't know. In the X-Men side of things, we have Quicksilver, Evan Peters. I, I, I'm i still kind of mad. I, I still hold a grudge against Marvel for treating Quicksilver not that good. Patrick Stewart in Multiverse of Madness. Spoilers for Multiverse of Madness if you haven't watched it. I'm also kind of salty about Professor X because he was just there for like zero seconds and then Wanda just killed him. Don't get me wrong, I love Wanda, but I'm still kind of sad about that. But the MCU is clearly setting up for the return of the X-Men. We have the first mention of mutants, Kamala Khan. Different in your genes, like a mutation. And Namor, which was just confirmed earlier this week. My guess is, who will be in the new X-Men team? Because now that Disney owns Fox, Marvel can do as they wish. My guess is Professor X, of course. Apparently, there were some rumors that they were talking to Giancarlo Esposito. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. But I also really like 
Patrick Stewart in the role. So we'll see what they do with that. I'm guessing Quicksilver, Evan Peters. Hopefully they do him right. Hopefully Storm. Storm is one of my favorite characters of the X-Men. She's one of the ones who is most likely to be in there. Deadpool, they're clearly setting up Deadpool to be in the X-Men. I don't think Kamala Khan will be in the X-Men because it's just, it's so out of place. You know, in the comics, she's an inhuman. So when Miss Marvel came out, it was just a complete one, it was a complete surprise that she was going to be the first mutant introduced in the MCU. I don't think Namor is going to be in the X-Men because being a mutant, it's such a little component of his character in the comics. So I don't think it would fit. I think that Wolverine will be in the X-Men, but not Hugh Jackman because he said that this is his last time being in this role for Deadpool 3. And it's just gonna be a one-time thing. So we don't know, will he be back for Secret Wars? All in all, I'm just so glad that Hugh Jackman is back. It was such it was such a surprise, but it was such a good surprise. I'm very curious to see what the MCU is going to do with him because it's such a precarious risk. They're, they're bold. That was a really bold move getting Hugh Jackman back. Box office is going to pay off for them, I'm sure. And Deadpool is R-rated. Deadpool 3 confirmed it was gonna be R-rated. So we will see the gruesome, brutal Wolverine that we got in Logan, hopefully. So what did you guys think about this news? I really wanna hear your opinions about it. I really wanna hear your thoughts. So if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss my reaction to the horror shows. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.